Today on our 2013 Chevy Silverado, we'll be installing the B&W Underbed Gooseneck Trailer Hitch part number BWG NRK1012. Let's go ahead and go over operation of the new Gooseneck Hitch. To pull the handle out, to put our ball into position, we'll rotate it towards the cab of the vehicle, locking it in the unlock position. Then once we drop the ball in position, we'll go ahead and rotate the handle towards the rear of the vehicle, unlocking the handle and allowing it to lock the ball into place in the gooseneck head. Then to turn the ball over, we'll simply pull the handle back out, turn the ball over, drop it back into place, and then release the handle. Now we'll go ahead and install our new underbed gooseneck hitch. To begin our install, we've already gone ahead and lowered and removed the spare tire, and then we'll remove both rear wheels. While it's not required, it makes it a lot easier to install the new hitch. We'll remove the exhaust. To remove the exhaust, we'll need to remove each of the rubber isolators from the metal hanger and the two bolts at the flange just forward of the muffler. To remove the rubber isolators from metal hangers, we'll spray each one with some spray lubricant and then use our pry bar to push the rubber isolator off the metal hanger. We can then go ahead and lower the exhaust and take it out from underneath the vehicle. We'll need to remove the passenger side wheel well. There's multiple screw fasteners and two push pins that'll need to be removed. Once we have the fasteners out of the way, we'll go ahead and pry the wheel well out from around the metal wheel lip and remove the plastic liner. Now with the wheel well out of the way, we'll go ahead and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, we'll go ahead and move underneath the vehicle where we need to cut out the heat shield. We'll be cutting it between the two hat channels where our new gooseneck hitch will sit. Using a cutoff wheel, we'll go ahead and cut the heat shield out now. Next, we'll move to the wheel well, where we'll need to cut a V in the pickup bed body seam or lip. Using a paint marker, we'll go ahead and mark out a two inch section and cut the V from end to end. Next, we'll move to the pickup bed. In the pickup bed, we'll need to cut out the four inch hole for our gooseneck to stick up through the bed. Using the measurement provided with our install kit, we'll go ahead and mark our length, and then check our width from wheel well to wheel well, finding the center of our pickup bed. Once we find the length and center, we'll go ahead and drill a small pilot hole. I'll then double check my measurements. Once we verify that the pilot hole is good, we'll go ahead and use our hole saw to cut out our four inch hole as per the instructions. Now with the hole cut out, I'm going to give you a quick tech tip. Each area where we make a cut with hole saw or cutoff wheel will leave bare metal. It's recommended to repaint these surfaces either with an underbody coating or some spray paint. We're ready to start installing. Now we'll slide it up into position put our bolt in place. It'll go through the rail and get secured with the O-ring. Next, we'll slide the rear rail in place. Note, the rear rail has pre-drilled and threaded holes to accept the fasteners. These are also offset on the rear rail, so if necessary, measure it out to find the offset. Once you find the offset, slide it in place We'll then go ahead and use a wrench to turn it into position. Now we're ready to raise the gooseneck head into place. Install the fasteners and then tighten each one finger tight. For the forward rail, we'll use the inch and a half bolt, flat washer, split lock washer, and nut. On our rear rail, we'll use a two inch bolt, split lock washer, 
flat washer through the gooseneck head into the pre-threaded holes of the rear rail. Note there'll be four in the front and four in the back. Now with all those installed, I'll quickly go ahead and tighten them down, leaving them slightly loose and movable as necessary, but taking up some of the slack from our hardware. Securing the side plates of the frame will be a 5 8 bolt. To get the 5 8 bolt into the frame, we'll use the bolt guide provided with the install kit. Short one being for the forward attachment point and the long one being for the rear attachment point. To get them into position, we'll use the manufacturer's access holes in the side of the frame. The front attachment point will be on the outside of the frame. We'll go ahead and work it into position and then into the pre-drilled hole. The rear attachment point will be on the inside of the frame where we'll use the larger cutout and go through the pre-drilled hole in the frame that lines up with our side bracket. Now with both of our 5 8 bolts in place, we'll go ahead and set the side bracket onto the bolts and secure it with the 5 8 large flat washer, split lock washer, and nut, installing each fastener finger tight. Then we'll go ahead and install the half inch bolt into the rail through the gooseneck head, securing with a flat washer, split lock washer, and nut for the forward attachment point from the side bracket to the front rail. Side bracket to rear rail, we'll use a bolt, flat washer, and split lock washer going through the gooseneck head into the pre-threaded hole of the rear rail. We'll move over to the passenger side and repeat the same process. We'll go ahead and tighten down the 5 base hardware. We'll start with the gooseneck head to rails first. And then torque it to specifications as per the instructions. Then the rails to side brackets. Now before we tighten down the side brackets, we'll want to measure and make sure the gooseneck head is square inside the bed. Using a tape measure, we'll measure from the rail to the channel. Then we'll repeat the same process on the other side. We'll go ahead and tighten it down. Then we'll torque to specifications as per the instructions. Next we'll go ahead and put the gooseneck release handle in place. Now for this application, because it has wheel wells and a large body lip, we're going to go ahead and cut the wheel well liner out of the way. We'll go ahead and install the handle and secure it with the bolt and lock nut provided with the install kit. Next, we're gonna move back underneath the bed and then use our cutoff wheel to cut a section of the body lip or bed seam to create room for our handle. We'll need to install the U-bolts for our chain hold down. Using the gooseneck head as a template, We'll use a pilot bit to drill out each one of the attachment points for the U-bolts. Now with our pilot bit drilled out for each one, we'll go ahead and open it up to a half inch side, noting that the forward one on the driver's side is difficult to get above the gas tank. So to, to drill it out, now that we already have a pilot hole, we'll move to the top of the pickup bed and drill down through our gooseneck head. We'll go ahead and drop our U-bolts in place and move back underneath to secure them. To secure them, we'll use the spring and lock nuts provided. We'll install the spring on first and then secure it with the lock nut. Once we have all four springs and lock nuts in place, we can then go ahead and tighten it down so that the end of the nut is flush with the end of the U-bolt. Now with our U-bolts installed, we're ready to go ahead and reinstall the passenger side wheel liner and exhaust. Next we'll go ahead and reinstall the rear wheels. 
And that'll complete our install of the B&W Gooseneck Trailer Hitch part number BWG NRK1012 on our 2013 Chevy Silverado.